BC floating death, Portuguese man o' war is invading the Met. The Portuguese man o' war, though referred to as a jellyfish, is actually far more bizarre. It is a siphonophore, four distinct animals which can only survive as they operate as one organism. It also packs a deadly sting which can kill by closing the airway and choking the victim to death. Even when non fatal, the merest brush from the Portuguese man o' war's 40 feet of trailing tentacles can cause agonizing burns lasting for days, and a combination of storms and powerful westerly winds had blown the floating killer from its usual habitat far out to sea in the North Atlantic into the Mediterranean and especially around Gibraltar. In Gibraltar, scientists at the prestigious marine education organization the Nautilus Project warned swimmers and beachgoers to be on alert and keep well clear of the creatures. Marine biologist Louis Stagnetto said, the Portuguese man o' war are driven by winds and the recent storms have driven them in from the Atlantic waters which are their usual habitat this year has seen more condensed storm activity with high winds that have driven a greater number to our shores. Portuguese man o' war do not swim and are driven by winds, as soon as the winds change they will stop arriving on our beaches, they will head wherever the wind blows. Go fun that's got to sting. Portuguese man o' war attack on John Atkin he added that the explosion in numbers of the killer organisms was aided by pollution. Because masses of plastic in the Oceasin was killing the Portuguese man o' war's predator the turtle, he said, a top Portuguese man o' war predator is the turtle. Turtle numbers are being reduced drastically through plastic ingestion or entanglements, fewer predators mean an increase in the number of these organisms surviving as any beachgoer can attest to. Speaking to the Gibraltar Chronicle Mr. Stagnetto advised best course of action following a sting is to seek medical advice, he said. There is conflicting information available on how to treat a Portuguese man o' war sting. Some internet sites say use vinegar some say vinegar makes it worse so please don't rely on online sources. Portuguese man o' war stings should be consulted with your doctor or vet. Portuguese man o' war can still sting every when dead, go fund and lasting damage. Multiple grafts were required after Portuguese man o' war attack on John Atkin. Portuguese man o' war are common in Australia, and just days ago, a fater five was facing having his leg amputated after a serious hull sting. John Atkin had swimming with his kids off the coast of New South Wales, Australia, when the organism wrapped itself around his left leg, causing horrific injuries. Doctors are now confident he will not lose the leg, but he will require rehab and many painful skin grafts.